Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at Urban Plant Life Garden Center and I wanted to show you what they have in here today. So this is what it looks like inside. So I'm going to apologize in advance if there's any uh, background noises or if my camera is in a weird angle because this is my first time uh, making a video outside. Uh, so please bear with me uh, with this video. So this is what it looks like when you go in. In that little house is where you yes. make your payment. So out here you have all your outdoor plants. This is all outdoor plants and you have some terracotta pot as well. So these are more outdoor plants. Accessories. This is all your garden supplies you have on the shelf. And then this part is where um, all the succulents are. So I'm going to bring you here. See what they have today. They have these pretty succulents displayed in a jar. So you have some uh, chrysuras. these pretty succulents they all have really beautiful different colors we have a string of pearls Euphobias, which I have one. I think they're very slow growers. I have mine six months and hasn't done anything yet. And this is the variegated bear paw, which I purchased the last time and I also purchased the original. I have these little um, sedum barrels. How much are they? 18 euros for a full basket. It's actually a very um, good offer. Very nice. And they have a very sad fig loop. Uh, leave here. Let's put more here as well. So you have some moss poles. So in here is my favorite part. This is where they keep all the uh, cacti. So I apologize that um, hopefully the voice in this video is okay because I'm wearing a face mask. So hopefully you can hear the audio. So this one um, is one of these little turtle plants. So they have this um, for 16 euros. I'm not really a fan of this one. And then you have some uh, hairy cactus. Uh, this one is actually pretty. These blooms. 
and then this one is some sort of um like a turtle plant so this is what it looks like so it's like one of those uh, potato plants which everyone likes the stephonia erecta but this one is like a turtle one so it's actually very pretty and then another hairy cactus so beautiful and a cactus A cactus here. Oh, this one is a big, it's like one of those cactus. What do you call these ones? These are, this is what you see um, in what grows in the desert. And then you have some bunny ear cactus. I think this one is a string of dolphins. This one is sort of a, a pony eye. More cactus, alifarias. This one is just amazing, this cactus, how it grows here. And this room is actually very warm for all the cactus. And these are some uh, whale fin, alifarias. And this is the obista. Actually, my one just died from overwatering, so I think I need to bottom water it. So I might purchase another one. This one looks a bit, uh, has a bit of a sun stress. How much is it? Eight euros. I might purchase another one. So some of the other ones have some blooms. More cactus. Uh, this one looks really big. So you have some sort of like rib salad, I think it is. Uh, this one is just amazing looking, this one here. It's only 17 euros. And then this one is a spur cactus. So beautiful. All these cactus and alifarias. Just amazing. How these grow look like they're from the desert. So some cacti do really nice. Really do enjoy the warm climates. So this room is actually very warm. And this one is some sort of like it catches flies or bugs. So more here, this is a big giant alifaria. Uh, what's this one called? I don't think it's a hoya. Some more plants here. Here. I actually bought bonza here the last time. This one here that I bought. get some bonsai mix but they have the wires here to do the bonsai so this is all the uh, plants in here we're gonna go back out here so hopefully um like i said i this is my first time making a video a video outside so hopefully um it turns out well and you can hear what i'm saying and i apologize for the uh, background noises so, so far, um, I might go back and get that obista when I finish in here. So, I'm going to bring you into the main attraction of the store. Yeah, not, not, not like that, actually. So, this is uh, Jess the cat uh, who lives in this nursery. Such a pretty little thing. Hello, Jess. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So this cat belongs to an owner here in the nursery. So you see those pictures of her on Instagram. So I'm going to bring you into the uh, main attraction. I'm going to see if they have any Hoyas here today. So this is all some of the soils that you can get. So they usually um, have their orders on Friday and I usually come in on Saturday to see what they have. Uh, today they seem to have lots of plants. This is the yucca. I was here last weekend and they didn't have anything. So this is uh, the bird of paradise. And this is some... Uh, 
um, Monastera. This crazy aerial roots everywhere. And then over here, we have more plants. Just wanna see. Uh, this one is some sort of begonias. I'm not really crazy about these ones. Well, they have um, Waiechiai today. Um, this is the um, Waiechiai tricolor. I was only trying to be honest. Uh, not too bad. I do love the uh, variegations on some of them. It's really pushy. I might get one of this, this one as well. So I might pick one that has more pink variegations and I think so far maybe this one might be the nicest one compared to the others. I think they only get this color if they're in the sun a lot. So uh, so for that price it's okay. And this is the uh, golden pothos. And this is the Peru. That's the mason leaves. Oh, this is some another begonia. Uh, this one has gorgeous pink colors. And this is some sort of. Um, I'm sure everyone likes the. I'm not going to pronounce it. It's only four euros. And you have a watermelon and pepperoni. And then you have the. Um, this one's here, which everyone likes. The um, Monsteria. And, and it's only 11 euros. So some of these names, I still don't know how to pronounce them because um, some plants I'm not very familiar with. And then on this side, you have some big uh, monasterias. And then these are some sort of um, algamarians. Uh, this plant I really like is the uh, ficus. Uh, the name of this ficus abidine, and it's six euros for this size. So I do like this one more because it has the uh, darker leaves, and when the new leaves come in, they're kind of like a bronzy color. So sixty euros is a bit pricey. I apologize for the uh, background noises. Oh, they have um, a string of um, hearts here. This is just a normal variegation one. Uh, they have these uh, little small um, bird of paradise where you can start small. And you have some uh, ficus lorata for subs for six euros for small ones. Uh, this one looks has amazing colors. What's this one? Doesn't have the price on that one. Yeah, a lot of people like this plant as well. This one here. This one is six fifty, which is not too bad. And then uh, this one is some sort of um, philodendron scantius. And they have all this lovely um, wall art. So pretty. I do apologize for the noise again. They have this kind of like a pineapple plant. This is really wild looking here. Some sort of um, sassafaria. So you have some pots here. Uh, this would look like some sort of enjoy propagations. So they don't really have much brought in anything in which I'm into. I was hoping that they have more hoyas. So I might get the um, Hoya uh, Waiatii. Last time they had the um, variegated Bertonia and I know someone that got one. It was only 15 euros and they're going to give me some. So I'm meeting them here today to get that. Well, they have um, the Lodendron Pink Princess here. The leaf on this one is amazing. I actually gave up my one because it just kept giving me small leaves. So I just kind of gave up on it. So you have some uh, big uh, bird of paradise here. 
I do apologize for the uh, background noises. So, so skin boxes. More uh, pink princess. Some ferns. More philodendrons. More plants, more ferns. So they have some hanging plants here. Huh? You want to get in the video, Jess? Yeah. <laughs> so we have like a big large uh, lily. Uh, of golden pottles. And then they have some uh, pots here. For the uh, pots. And we have some uh, CC plants. And then we have some more. Uh, I think that's everything in this um, in this room. Have everything in here. Just enjoy. I do apologize for the background noise again. I know I keep saying it, but I think, uh, so this is the raven. So this is what it looks like in here. All the plants. So I think I'm going to end the video here today. And. Um, Oof, there's not really anything special here today that um, I want to purchase. So they have more pots here. Uh, and then these they had. Uh, they actually have. Uh, is this the variegated um, string of uh, pearls? And it's 32 euros. I've actually been wanting one of these for 32 euros. I'm not quite sure. I will have to think about it. And then we have some uh, smaller plants here. So this is um, an acacia dragon scale. So this is just a small size. And I actually had these ones in a small size and it just died on me. So I have the mother plant and that one is doing very well for me. Oh, this one is gorgeous. I saw this one the last time. I just look, it's so alien looking. So this one is the alocasia. Oh yes, yeah, the alsamia one, 46 euros. I actually saw this one online. Um, I actually ordered the uh, coopery there a while ago. Uh, so I'm waiting for that to come in the post. And then we have we have some plutonia that's here. More little plants here. Some orchids. Still here. So this seems to be all the uh, this is what it looks like the main attraction of the store in here. This is what it all looks like. So I'm gonna. So this is um, everything in the store. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And. Um, like I said, it's my first time making a video outside, so hopefully it turned out well and so that you can hear the audio and my camera wasn't swinging a bit too much. So, yes, I'm gonna end the video here and. Oh, there's some strawberries here. I can grow your own strawberries. Beautiful outdoor plants. This is the outdoor section. So I'm gonna end.
end my video here so i hope you um enjoyed this uh, my first outing um video and i uh, will look forward to see you in my next video and if you see this being posted then you know that the video turned out okay if not i will just have to stick with indoor uh, videos because i'm still kind of awkward making videos outside because people wonder what i'm doing so, so i'm gonna end the video here and i see you guys in the next video goodbye and thanks for watching this video